Welcome to the HP Palm Top Tube channel. Today I'm going to do a small review for our Will It Play series of Budokan, the Martial Spirit, which is a game that was released in 1989 by Electronic Arts for MS-DOS and Amiga computers, and later on also got ports to the Sega Genesis, the Commodore 64, the ZX Spectrum and the Amstrad CPC. Now, it's a martial arts fighting game. You can actually play it with two players on one keyboard. Um, and this particular uh, version of Budokan has been patched to support the parallel port S2P device from Certico, which is a GM MIDI synth. And um, if, you, if we launch the game, you'll see that it's currently programming the S2P to uh, change its uh, patches so that it resembles an MT32. And there you go, we have the music. Now this game has really good music. It's all, um, you know, Japanese traditional themed music. Let's zoom in. I really like this music. I used to play this game when I was young, uh, when it came out, and uh, I had an uh, LAPC1 card, which was an MT32 on an ISA card for a PC, and I loved the music even back then. So, first of all, I'm going to be reconfiguring my keyboard. Um, so, because I, I like using the left side of the keyboard more than the, uh, the right side. So I'm just going to reassign the keyboard player one to have the left side of the keyboard. And just continue. And if we press enter, we'll actually start the game. Okay, continue. So this is the main part of the game. Um, it's a bit hard to see with the monochrome graphics, but there's my little character here that walks around in the uh, court hall. And there are four, um, four dojos where you can go and practice uh, your martial arts. Uh, let's go to the bow dojo. bow is uh, sort of a fighting with a stick. So what you can do is you can just practice on your own. So the actual sound effects are coming from the PC speaker while the music comes from the MT32. So uh, here I can just uh, move, I can jump, I can take certain defensive stances, or if I use the shift I can use offensive uh, tactics like striking, uh, striking down, striking up, uh, jumping while striking. And, you know, there's a whole series of uh, different uh, movements uh, that happen basically with the Q, W, E, A, S, D, Z, X, C keys. So a whole cross and then the shift key. And what you can also do in these dojos is um, fight somebody to practice. You can choose the difficulty. Let's just start with an easy one. Now I can move around, hop around. And when he gets close enough, I'll start hitting him. There, see the points that I'm scoring? So I managed to get him to one-third health. I'm going to be able to probably finish him off soon. Of 
Here we go, I won. We get our score, 4,100 damage inflicted. So this is basically the same for all the, um, for all the four different uh, martial arts that the game supports. So bow is kind of fighting with a long bow staff. Karate is just fighting karate with your hands. Ninjutsu is using ninjutsus, which are two little sticks connected by a chain. Um, and then there is also kendo, which is uh, kind of a martial arts sport where you wear a mask and a suit and you fight with a sword. And when you're ready, you've practiced, you can go to the tournament. So you just go up and here you can have the option to talk to some grandmaster about philosophy and technique and stuff but I'm just going to continue straight on to the Budokan which is the tournament I really like this music it's uh, very Japanese So here we basically have to fight um, a whole number of different opponents. It starts really easy, but gets tougher and tougher as you go with each new opponent that you're presented. So the first opponent here is Goro Suzuki, who seems to be more interested in eating sushi than fighting, so he should be a pretty easy opponent. Let's, you can also choose the, one of the four uh, different martial arts uh, that you want to fight against this opponent and I'm just going to choose bow because I like bow the most uh, Or no just for a change. I'll do kendo and I'll do bow on the next one So there we go I'm winning. I nearly got him. Here we go. I won. Awesome. Okay, so match number two, Aiji Kimura, whose preferred style of fighting is Kendo. So this one will be a little bit harder. So Kendo is with a sword, so I'll want something where I can keep a distance. So for this I'm going to use bow, because the bow staff is pretty long. Okay, here we go. Nearly got him. He's retreating. I've got him. Okay, so here's match three. Jimmy Doran, who, uh, his weapon is a tonfa, which is a weapon that's not available for fighting for you, the player. Um, I'm just going to do this and then I think I've shown enough for today. 
So um, let's take something else for a change. Maybe take the nunchakus. Here we go. This is good because I can keep my distance. So the longer you wait between striking, the more key you build up and the more powerful your strikes are. So sometimes it's a good idea to retreat and wait a while so that your key meter can go up. I nearly got him. Here we go. Anyway, this is... Uh, my review of the game. Let's continue with uh, our table. So as with all our Will It Play games, we have our HP Palm Top Game Fitness Score table. And um, what I would like to give this game is for graphics. I'd like to give it a two out of three. I mean, it's, it's pretty playable. Everything is readable. You can see everything. It's a lot better uh, in real life than on the camera. Um, it's just a few areas and screens like the outdoor courtyard are a li little bit difficult to see on, a, on the grayscale display. So I'm awarding it a two out of three points for the graphics for the visibility. Aspect ratio, uh, one point out of one, because it does not seem to matter in any way that the aspect ratio is wrong. Um, sound, I'm going to give it a full three out of three, because not only does it support MT32 plus digital sound effects via the speaker, but it also just has great music that I really enjoy listening to. Uh, and then finally, controls, I'm going to give it two out of three points. Um, it's not perfect. The, one of the problems is that the keys aren't completely square. They kind of, the, the, the individual keys on the HP 200 Alexis keyboard are a little bit offset. And sometimes you end up typing the wrong key when you're playing. But in general, it's very playable and it's pretty easy to control. As you can see, I, I've already won a couple of matches, three matches in the tournament. So uh, for a total of 8 out of 10, very good. And uh, if we pull up our ranked list of games by Palm Top Fitness, I'm going to place it at number 3 in a tie together with Eye of the Beholder, who, which also got an 8 out of 10. On a side note, I'd like to point out a new HP DOS Palm Top forum that is available on the HPC Factor website. This forum is specifically designed for users of HP 95, 100 and 200 LX Palm Tops. And I recommend if you are an HP DOS Palm Top enthusiast, to go over there and make yourself an account and have a look around the HP DOS Palm Tops forum um, because there's a lot of people there that uh, you can ask for support uh, or go into technical discussion with about these nostalgic pieces of hardware. So go over and have a look at hpcfactor.com and then go to the DOS Palm Tops forum. Thank you. So uh, thank you for watching.